What is a Jenkins pipeline? And why is it a linchpin in modern software development? This is the question that will be unraveled today. With its ability to automate the software delivery process, right from building the code to testing to deploying it into production, Jenkins Pipeline has become an indispensable tool for DevOps engineers worldwide. The first best practice to discuss is the use of Groovy code. Groovy code is often used to connect actions in a pipeline. However, it's recommended to use it sparingly, as it is resource intensive. Instead of relying on Groovy as the main functionality, use shell scripts to condense multiple steps into one, simplifying the build process. Next on the list is the avoidance of certain Groovy methods. Methods like JSUNSLURPER and HTTP request can lead to performance issues. Instead, consider using alternatives that are lighter on resources. Another important practice is to reduce overhead by combining pipeline steps into single steps where possible. This will not only streamline your pipeline but also conserve resources by reducing the amount of Groovy code executed. When it comes to using Jenkins APIs in pipelines or shared libraries, proceed with caution. This can pose security and performance risks. Instead, consider using other methods that do not expose your pipeline to these potential hazards. One often overlooked practice is the removal of old builds. This can greatly improve efficiency as these old builds can consume unnecessary resources. Regularly removing old builds ensures that your pipeline remains lean and efficient. Customizing built-in pipeline steps might seem like a good idea, but it's a risky endeavor. Overriding these steps with customized code can lead to unforeseen issues down the line. It's best to stick with the default steps provided by Jenkins. Large variable declaration files and shared libraries can consume excessive memory. Be sure to keep these files as lean as possible to ensure your pipeline runs smoothly. Sharing workspaces across multiple executions or pipelines can lead to unexpected issues. Instead, consider building indistinct containers or disabling concurrency. This ensures repeatable and efficient builds. To summarize, Jenkins Pipeline best practices include using Groovy code sparingly, using shell scripts to simplify builds, avoiding certain Groovy methods, combining pipeline steps, using Jenkins APIs with caution, regularly removing old builds, not overriding built-in pipeline steps, minimizing large variable declaration files and shared libraries, and building in distinct containers or disabling concurrency. By adhering to these best practices, you'll be well on your way to creating efficient, resource-conserving and secure Jenkins pipelines. Remember, a well-crafted Jenkins pipeline is the cornerstone of a successful software development process. The practices discussed today will help ensure that your pipelines are built to deliver optimal performance.